Have you noticed that we seem to be living in a world that is sleepwalking into autocracy? It's mystifying, is it not? Most often, autocratic leaders are men. And there is, in autocracy, an embracing of, often of a man <clears throat> who has obvious flaws, distortions of character, some kind of distorted human masculinity. And you have to wonder, how could that happen? Not only how could it be represented in a, a man, which is in some way understandable. There's a lot of people on the planet, a lot of men, and there's going to be some man who walks along who is pretty far off. So that's not so mystifying. But it is mystifying how people could embrace such a thing. When you think about it deeper, there is the fire of love, the fire of what we could call Father God, that is right at the heart and soul and origin of all people and all creation. There is the fire of creation, which is not just a power and an energy, but is the being of creation expressing itself through everything. And so that's innate in all of us. It's intrinsic to who we are. And because it's intrinsic, we all long to know it and to experience it. And here's what I think happens. If we can't find the real thing, we'll find some kind of counterfeit. If we cannot find the truth of Father God, we'll, we'll accept the distortion of human masculinity in some kind of aberrant form. If that's true, what is the solution? There's only one that I can think of. As long as there's no alternative available in people's awareness, of course, it's always available in truth, right? Father God never went any place. That reality never went any place. But it doesn't seem to be available in someone's consciousness. And so they, they laud and embrace some kind of aberrant expression of that. The answer must be to make the presence, the availability, the spirit and power and fire of Father God available on earth to present what is not an alternative to authoritarianism, but it, which is true authority, the authority of creation, the authority of the creator that has apparently enough authority to author, to create the world in which we live and the whole cosmos. As I see it, this is the, the flaw of some versions of feminism, trying to espouse feminism as the solution for a planet. And yet, if we don't somehow account for Father God in that picture, there is something missing and people know it's missing, and there is a reversion to a false form of autocracy, of aberrant male expression. So the seeds of its own undoing end up being in feminism if it does not take that into account. I am not seeking to diminish the as it's put, the rise of the feminine in our world, it's needed. 
but alone leaves us open to social disaster. Now we need the, the power and the glory of the true Father. Can we bring that acknowledgement and honoring of that without being stupid about the failings of human masculinity? In other words, our honoring of divine masculine shouldn't be overlooking what tends to happen in our culture to men and the excesses and extremes that they go to, that men go to. And then on the other side, there's the, the vacuousness of men who don't know the, the divine masculine within themselves and express it. <clears throat> 